Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're gonna install the Note 7 ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S4. So let's get started. Let's begin with the features first. So this is how the ROM looks on the S4. And it runs on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 which well is not the latest but still better than stock lollipop. If you see the home screen and the app draw, they completely mirror the Note 7. The quick setting panel is also quite similar to the Note 7 along with the notification panel. Let's get into the settings again. You get your Wi-Fi working, so are mobile data and network. For features, you get floating messages as well as the edge screen from the latest edge devices. To access the edge screen, head back to the home screen and swipe from the right. You get apps edge as well as people edge. You also get some gestures but these are present on all TouchWiz ROMs. You get themes to change your device look. Next you have the camera from the S6 and the S6 Edge, which functions properly. In both image capture mode and video mode, no problems with either. It has full HD recording, video stabilization and quick launch. With quick launch, you can double tap the home button from anywhere and access the camera. So the ROM is very fluid and smooth. You also get multi-window with it. The performance of the ROM is excellent and you can easily use it as a daily driver. So to install the ROM, head to the link given below and download the ROM for the i9-500. So before starting, you need to have a custom recovery installed. For that, watch my previous video. Start by pressing the volume up home and power button all together. Hold them until you see the S4 logo then leave them to boot into recovery. Before flashing, make sure to make a backup of your previous ROM. Then go back, head to wipe, swipe to factory reset. Then go to install. Navigate to the folder where the ROM was saved at. Select it and swipe to install. This will take you to an installer. You can choose from the given list of customizations according to your preference. So let it install. It may take a couple of minutes, so be patient. Once done, hit next and wait for the phone to boot up. This will also take some time, around 10 minutes. So again, be patient. Now you're good to go. So this is it from the video. Do try out the ROM and if you have any queries, use the comment section on YouTube or on our website, mytechtube.com. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.